Ordering food using online delivery platforms is becoming increasingly popular, but a recent spate of deaths has put a spotlight on the dangerous work undertaken by food delivery riders. The Chinese widow of one rider has travelled to Sydney to fight for compensation after her husband was killed at work. She spoke exclusively to local communities reporter Lydia Feng. A single photo, a treasured memory of a life taken too soon. Xia mm, Jun was a very caring person and was always helping people. He always had a smile on his face and he was an optimistic and warm person. Xiao Jun Chen worked as a writer for the food delivery platform Hungry Panda to support his family in rural China. He was killed on the job when his motorcycle collided with a bus in Zetland in September. His widow and brother-in-law have travelled from Sanxi province to Sydney to collect his ashes. I urge everyone to show more respect and care to food delivery riders because behind every rider there's a loving family and they're carrying their family's hopes. While the company has paid for Mrs Wei's travel costs, it has not offered to compensate her for her husband's death. Many food delivery platforms classify their riders as independent contractors, not employees, meaning they're not obligated to pay workers' compensation. These workers are dying on our roads. Their families are being left destitute, all because of a legal label. A New South Wales parliamentary inquiry into the gig economy is due to begin tomorrow. It will examine whether new laws should be introduced to better protect workers like Mr Chen. If a person dies at work, their family should be looked after, regardless of whether or not they work in the gig economy or in the mainstream economy. Mrs Wei will share her heartbreaking experience at the inquiry. I don't want another story like Xia Jun's in this world or another family to experience this tragedy like our family. A brave voice calling for change. Lydia Feng, ABC News, Sydney.